Hi, welcome to Storytime with Dudley and Miss Karen. Dudley has finally settled down this week, and now he's just asleep. So he's going to listen to our book. This week is some of my favorite books, and this is Carl and the Meaning of Life. Carl was not a bird. What do you think Carl is? Carl was not a bear or a beaver. Carl was an earthworm. He lived underground, moving, always moving, burrowing, tunneling, digesting dead leaves, feasting and casting, turning hard dirt into fluffy soil day after day. Why, asked a field mouse gathering seeds, why do you do that? Why? But Carl did not know why. But now he needed to find out, so Carl stopped making fluffy soil. I'll be right back, he told the field mouse. He spotted a rabbit. Maybe she knew. Why do I do what I do, he asked her. Oh, goodness, dear, she said, I do not know. I do what I do for my babies. But Carl did not have babies. A fox appeared and Carl turned to the fox. Why do I do what I do, asked Carl. Who do I do it for? For whom, replied the fox. Alas, my meal awaits, I am here for the hunt. But Carl did not want to hunt. Why are you talking to a fox, cried a squirrel. Carl was startled because the field mouse is waiting and wants to know what I am here for. The squirrel declared, I'm here to plant trees. Trees are where I sleep. But Carl could not sleep, not high in a tree and not without an answer for the mouse. He pushed on. What? And on, hours turned into days into the, until the soil was no longer fluffy. The ground around Carl turned barren and dry. Who? Well, he continued to search. Why? Sigh. But the birds had flown off to find grasses and fluff. The bear trundled away to look for berries. Soon there was nobody left to talk to. What about me? called Carl. The clouds were silent. So was the air. I will never find out, he sniffled. Then Carl heard his sniffle echo, followed by a squeak. I can't find any grubs, a voice cried. It was the saddest ground beetle he had ever seen. Carl peeked under a stone, no grubs. Then he poked at the dirt. It was hard like a rock. Where was his fluffy soil? Suddenly Carl knew what he needed to do. I'll be back, he promised. For hours into days, weeks into months, Carl munched, digested, left castings and tunneled and turned that hard dirt back into rich soil. You made my seeds grow, said the mouse. Clover blossomed once again, and the rabbit came back with her kits. The squirrel returned to plant new trees, and the fox was lured by the hunt, all of them able to do what they needed to do. How? Well, why not ask Carl? Have you ever watched squirrels running around or beetles skittering by and wondered, what are they doing? Or why do they do that? Just like Carl, every creature in this book has an important job. The mouse, rabbit, squirrel, fox, and ground beetle all need each other, and our world needs them. Everything is connected, including you. How do you help the earth? What do you think Dudley does? The end.